Good evening, Mayor and members of the Council. My name is Leung Wing Si. I'm also known as Janie Leung, and I'm an organizer with the Chinatown Action Group. I'm here to oppose the proposed rezoning at the 105 Kiefer site. This proposed development will not benefit Chinatown. It is clear that BD Living's primary objective is to maximize profits by giving the least possible benefits back to the community. BD stands to make enormous profits from the sale of over 100 condo units, but is only providing 25 units of social housing, which they're not providing, and BC Housing has to purchase. This is a drop in the bucket, given the housing crisis being faced by Chinese seniors and low-income people in the neighborhood. The seniors' cultural space will be a private space that has to be rented and is available only to a few select groups. For the community, we will lose not only an important cultural site in Chinatown, but also the potential for much needed affordable housing and a community space that would truly serve everyone in the neighborhood. We would rather have an empty lot than condos that would lead to increasing rents and displacement pressures in the neighborhood, as Jean talked about the Woodward's effect. It is important to recognize that the current struggle for the 105 Kiefer site can't be separated from the long history of racism, dispossession, and disp displacement that occurred on this site. It was first the site of displacement of Coast Salish communities in the 1800s and later became a place of safety for Chinese workers from the racism and exclusion they faced in the city. This legacy continues today as Chinatown continues to be a place of safety and belonging for Chinese seniors, new immigrants, and other low-income people. Many of these residents have worked all their lives, often doing manual labor in the service industry or caring for children and the elderly. And when they are no longer able to work, they continue to care for their friends and neighbors and buildings in Chinatown. It is their paid and unpaid labor that upholds the foundation of this neighborhood. They are truly the heart and soul of Chinatown. These past several months, Chinatown Action Group has been on the streets and going door to door in Chinatown talking with these residents. We hear their stories struggling with the increasing costs in the neighborhood and social isolation. As the local stores they have relied on get evicted or priced out of the neighborhood, they have to travel farther and farther to meet their basic needs. The new businesses coming in are places of exclusion where they can't afford it and they're not made to feel welcome in there. We have heard from both Chinese residents and retail stores that they feel like they're intentionally being squeezed out of the neighborhood by being cut off from their basic needs or being made to feel so unwelcome in their own neighborhood they would be forced to leave. On Tuesday, Mr. Beatty talked about the many consultations they have done in the community. I can tell you that many of the residents we spoke with are not even aware of the proposed 105 key for rezoning. Even if they receive notification cards, many of them are not literate and cannot read either Chinese or English. Many are not mobile enough to travel to open houses or to City Hall. And as we have seen with this public hearing, they only get to speak for half the time as everyone else because they don't speak English. There has been no interpretation services of the proceedings in Cantonese and Mandarin for them. So while they can watch people talk about their community and make decisions about them, they are not privy to this information and cannot participate equally. Mayor and Council, I ask you, is this how society should treat its seniors? Is this how you would want your grandparents to be treated? This is not only about Chinatown's heritage. This is about social justice for its people and the right to remain and age in place. This is about the right to participate in decisions about your neighborhood. For me, I am here speaking for Chinatown because it is the place that grounds me in my culture and my identity. I am grateful for the popos and the yeyes, the Chinatown seniors who so patiently pass on their knowledge to me, their stories to me, and are helping me learn my language and my history. When a senior is displaced from Chinatown, the whole community loses. There have been many previous attempts to remove us from Chinatown, from the anti-Asian riots to the proposed freeway expansion. As the city of Vancouver is making efforts towards reconciliation for this historical discrimination against Chinese people, I ask you to ensure this history is not repeated today. I ask you to stop the cycle of displacement of Chinese and other low-income people in Chinatown. Since 2014, Chinatown seniors, youth and residents and organizations have come out in opposition to BD's proposed condo tower at this site. Mayor and Council, this is an opportunity for you to demonstrate your accountability to us to show us that we no longer live in a time when our voices are made invisible and the needs of our community are ignored. I ask you to reject the proposed rezoning application to put people before profits and ensure the 105 Kiefer site is dedicated to 100% social housing and welfare rates and publicly accessible community space. Thank you. <laughs>